Hey everybody, it's uh, Chris Horde Dixieland Farm. But I'm not at the farm. No, I'm at my sister-in-law's house. And um, today they had to do wedding stuff. My Marissa and her sisters for a cousin's wedding tomorrow. So I had a few hours to just kind of roam free. And I hit a bunch of thrift stores. And, you know, I kind of traveled all over uh, Suffolk County, Long Island. And I'm going to meet up with Tom in a couple of days. I've got the house here to myself because the girls are in the bridal party are at one house and the guys, you know, are all drinking in another house. So and I've got Lily to take care of here. So you don't care about any of this. Get to the records, Chris. You're absolutely right. Okay. So, uh, two thrift stores and an actual record store. The one thrift store, um, 75 cents a record or box sets were a buck. So you, I've said that I'm, I'm starting to get into opera, so uh, very excited to get uh, Red Seal, uh, Verde, Verdi, Aida, and uh, got uh, La Travita, so another Verdi. Uh, I've already got a La Boheme, La Boheme, but you know, you, for a buck you couldn't pass it up. So that's my second La Travita. So. Anyway, and then a masked ball. This uh, ball. The Long Island comes back. Damn it. That's why I don't want to come here. Ball. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Alright, so. A masked ball. Uh, this looks like... Um, eyes wide shut. Kind of kinky. And uh, I could, how can I pass up songs of, of Norwegian fjords? Couldn't. So. 99 cents of Goodwill now. Uh, Marshall Tucker Band on Capricorn. You know, it's... Can't you, can't you see, can't, I, I couldn't pass it up. Chris, did you just make a video saying you're not going to collect everything? It's true, but I, I always wanted Fool on the Hill. Uh, none such, you know my rule, I don't pass them up. And the uh, Mass for Three Voices, that's going to be neat. Uh, Arosini, uh, Barbieri de Saviglia, if I said that right. And, uh... Look at these guys. How do they get? How do they get chicks? They look like a bunch of. Uh, yeah, Duke Ellington. It's on six eye. It's not the original LP, but uh, the jazz for that relaxed mood. Sweet. On the threshold of a dream, I've got all the Moody's Blues on CD, and I, this isn't one of my favorite. Well, then again, I love loving to see you in Dear Diary and Send Me No Wine. That's an okay song. But, uh, you know, I, the CD certainly does not have this booklet. I don't remember anything like that with the sweet lyrics. Hells yeah. All right. Um, another one. It's coming out, but look at that. Booker T's, Marquis, Marquis. Sweet. Um, Dance, <laughs> Dan Fulberg. Uh, somebody said pick this up because Joe Walsh is all over it, so I did. Um, I picked up a, a gift for Tom when I gave it to him. He, one of his favorite movies is uh, Butch Cassidy. You know that about Tom? Oh, are you dating? Shut up! Alright, uh, then the actual record store in Babylon. Um, oh, wait a minute. One more. For children's, children's, children's. Another, it's, it's, it's a pretty good Moody Blues album. And the vinyl was beautiful. I couldn't leave it. Even if I ended up giving it away, you know, it was worth picking up. Okay, record store. Prices were insane. It was way too much. However, uh, Paul Revere and the Raiders, for three bucks, more than fair. It doesn't have the book, like it says. Uh, a couple of people showed the flock. I don't know what it is, but look at that dude. Right? This was seven bucks. I don't know if it was worth seven bucks. It's original two eye. I can get my finger on it because I haven't washed it yet. But you know, two eye. But I knew this would haunt me if I didn't pick it up, so I did. However, this made up for that being slightly overpriced. It's a Velvet Odessa. I wanted this Velvet Odessa for twenty years. Yeah, twenty years. This is a great album. If, you, if everyone goes on about Odyssey and Oracle, or whatever, if nobody talks about Odessa being one of the classic forgotten albums. It's so great. Um, you know, because it's the Bee Gees. And people just say, oh, it's the Bee Gees. But early Bee Gees is different. They had idea. 
uh, which I think I already have, but it was jacked up. It wasn't worth picking up even for the buck. Uh, so, wonderful to have this. Uh, five minutes. I'm out. Tomorrow morning, there's a thrift store nearby. I've got to eat at a diner, apparently by myself, because we're not having any actual lunch. I meet up, the wedding's at 1.30, so I, like, I've got the whole morning free. No one's going to be here. I have to give an insulin shot to a cat. Uh, so, maybe there's that thrift store. Um, maybe I'll, I'll look out. The uh, whole reason for my trip was uh, my last Long Island uh, video. I went to this one thrift store where they had great records for two fifty. Stores closed. I went to another place where I saw it. When I came here in November for a funeral, those stores are already closed. So I guess thrift stores are not a big uh, thing on Long Island, uh, which is, you know, kind of weird, I think. Goodbye, everybody. Take care. Thanks so much for watching.